Hey Sophie. Welcome back guys to another episode of Boost Wanted. In today's video we're going to be checking out the Turbo Civic and putting in a new radiator. This thing has been needing a new radiator since last summer but winter time came around and I decided to postpone it until about now. So guys stay tuned and let's see if this radiator can help to cool off the Black Mamba Turbo Civic. Of course we have our lovely assistant Sophie with us. So, hey, hey, sit down. So, hey. <laughs> so let's get the radiator out, put the new radiator in, fill it up, and maybe even go on a test drive and see if it helps out at all to cool this bad boy off. Nice. It's a very simple process to get the radiator replaced. All you need is a drain pan, some pliers, channel locks, either or, and a 10 millimeter. All right, now that we got the drain pan underneath the car, we can go ahead and unscrew the drain plug. This is my little heat shield for my radiator hose. So I'll move that up. And the reason that is there is because this is my exhaust and it comes out of the bumper. Take off our overflow line. All right guys, so the fan is actually hardwired over here and this actually goes to my ignition. So anytime my car is running, the fan is always running with it to keep it cool. So I'll go ahead and undo the wiring over here pull the fan off and then we can go ahead and put the fan onto the new radiator and get the new radiator back into the car. Well, I guess my soldering didn't hold up. 10 millimeter. this thing it has seen some years of use size reveals that our old radiator is not up for the challenge the new one however seems like it's pretty good quality Chinese finest Fan mounts are a little bit ghetto since they are zip ties, so we'll just cut them off and probably have to do the exact same thing to that one, unfortunately, but I do not have the mounts for these. So, RIP. Go ahead and sink four zip ties into the radiator, unfortunately, but it should be good. Zip tie gang, because what is a Honda without zip ties? So we got the radiator back in. The way I took it out is the exact same way as I put it back in. Got into the holes lined up. Got the top bracket on, just need to put the bolt in. And I can go ahead and put the bottom and top radiator hoses in after I go ahead and wire up the fan. Now it's time to get the upper and the lower radiator hose on. And we're good to go on a test drive. And then after we fill it up, we can go ahead Take this thing out on a cruise and make sure it does not blow up, it does not overheat or give me any issues. So 
So luckily enough, I actually have two of the bigger clamps. I mean, that's probably all I have, but at least I don't have to go to a parts store and get new clamps. Now take this one off, throw this one on, and we'll be ready to fill up the radiator. Just a little size comparison to old one, and then this is the new one. It's a little hot, that bottom hose has given me a few problems, but now I am ready to go and get this thing on the road. All right guys, so I got the radiator in, got all the hoses and the clamps on, the overflow reservoir, got the fan turning the correct direction, and now we can push this thing out, fill it up with some water. Now to actually do it correctly, you're supposed to use distilled water or antifreeze coolant, but I don't have distilled water and I'm not gonna go through 20 bottles to fill up this thing. I'll be filling up with a garden hose, then tomorrow or something I'll pour that out and fill it up with antifreeze. Now using this manly hose nozzle, I'll go ahead and fill up the radiator. The rain's coming down pretty good outside. Let's go ahead and turn on the Honda. As far as performance goes, I'm sure it's keeping it nice and cool, but it was raining last time I went out and uh, seems like we got some more clouds inbound. One issue I am having is the radiator is hitting the downpipe, so I might need to squeeze the radiator closer to the core support or put a heat shield in between the radiator and the exhaust. Other than that, it seems good, but that'll be for another episode, so guys, stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned.